So this is the second tutorial showing sequence settings and the preview codec setup, the way to go about doing that. I am on a PC right now. Um, once you start working with your files, so let's just say that this is empty. I don't have any timeline just yet, but I do have my DNX HD footage. I'll just double click on it here and look at the properties. And we can see that it's 1080, 25 frames per second. All that is actually exactly how we need it to be when we hand it in as far as the frame dimensions and the frame rate. Now, if I click and drag and drop this into the blank area of the sequence panel, then it creates a new timeline based on the settings of that clip, which is kind of nice. But one thing you want to be aware of is first, rename your edit. So give this a, a name. And then before we continue, I would highly recommend you go up to the sequence panel, sequence settings, and then make sure that this is not set to custom, but actually set to DNX 1080p. What that does is it allows the preview file format, the codec, to be set to the DNX 120 1080p 25. If it's not set to that, go in and manually change that. You can do this exact same setup on a Mac. This is going to be the delivery format. So any rendering that you do in the timeline will actually be leveraged when you export. Now if you need to render something and it is not red, then you can select this and then mark the selection create an in and out range around where you want to render, go up to sequence and then render in to out. Once that's rendered it should go green. Once it's green you know that you'll be able to play that back and not have any drop frames. Now the beauty of this is that that rendered piece of material that's already green and sitting there is already set to the correct codec. So when you go to export media if you were to do match sequence settings all of the video tab settings will be set based on the match of the preview codec that we set up in the sequence so we have the 1080p 25 dnx hd 120 megabits per second 1920 by 1080 the frame rates locked at 25 and you know that this will be delivered and will be handed in exactly as it needs to be I'm going to use preview files and then when you go to export, well, you might want to just double check the output name, pick where that's going to go and name it in there as well and then hit export and away it will go.